May, it's the electrical safety month that it's a time to remind all of us and homeowners especially to compile their household safety checklist and practice some periodic home inspections. So we're going to bring in none other than the one and only Skip Bedell. All right, good to see you again, buddy. And hey, all right, we know about this being a big deal. All right, so tell us all about your best advice to keep us safe and fire free. Absolutely, Mike. Thanks for having me back as always. Uh, yes, it is a big month and it's a great time for us to be reminded to go around the house and do your safety checklist. Listen, it could be as simple as walking around and looking for loose extension cords or things that aren't plugged in properly. You want to check all your outlets. It's so important that you have the right type of outlet for the room that you're in. Leviton makes that really easy with some great products here. So talking about the one that we're probably most familiar with is the GFCI, you know, the one that's got the little reset button in the front right Mike so okay. these go in your kitchen in your bathroom uh, you know wherever the wet locations are and the sole purpose of this is to prevent electrical shock so very important that you have these in those areas and that they're working properly now one that maybe uh, people aren't so familiar with it looks just like this is an AFCI or arc fault circuit interrupter these are critical to have in your home in areas like your living spaces living room bedrooms common areas what these do is prevent electrical fires from ever happening. So they sense an arc in the wire or a fault in the wire and they shut the power off to it. Now this can happen. Damaging wires is really easy to do. Maybe you're moving furniture around the house. You pinch a cord to the lamp or perhaps you're hanging a, a picture on the wall and you're oh. nailing a nail and you damage the wire that can release that electricity and setting on fire the building materials like your framing and insulation. So this will sense that arc and it'll cut the power immediately so very important to have in those spaces and then Leviton makes it easy too because they combine the two GFCI uh, and AFCI into one dual function mm. and these are now becoming very popular and also uh, many places are requiring for areas like your laundry room and for your dishwasher so I always tell people to check with your specific area and the codes that you have and if so you might want to swap those out to the dual function so those are all great things to have and I have a couple of other here, Mike, that I like in particular too, mm -hmm. that are really uh, convenient to have. So we're coming into barbecue season right now, right? Everybody's outside and we're going to be doing our outdoor kitchens and, you know, on our patios and porches. So Leviton makes a weather resistant GFCI, which hold up to the rain and the elements. And, you know, if you're doing things outside in wet areas, great for your uh, pool area, hot tub, that type of nature. And then the last uh, two that I'll say that these are kind of my favorite. One has a night light on it. And then the other combines a USB port, which is super important for everybody, right? Because we're always charging our devices and keeping the tablets and the kids with their games. So you want to check that out. And in areas where you can swap them out, they're very easy to change you can swap out your GFCI for one that has a USB port as well. All right, good information there. And the keywords I heard, uh, yes, I've got some work to do, but it's easy to install, right? It is, yeah. So, you know, there's, you can Google it. You can find a million videos on YouTube on how to do anything. Uh, and, of course, on their website, uh, Leviton has a great site at home.leviton.com where you can find all of their products there as well as, you know, what type you have in what room and how to install them. And, of course, I always tell people, listen, if you don't feel safe doing something, always call your licensed electrician. It's a very easy job for them to switch this out for you. All right, Skip, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Uh, we'll have to have you come in here, First Coast Living, and we need some help in the kitchen over there as well, okay? Yes, sir. I'll be happy to come down to Jacksonville, man. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, we're going to welcome you out with the red carpet. Also, for more information on this, head to firstcoastliving.net.